come out to the trellis this morning and just to give you guys a quick update as to what's going on in here under the cover um that's the first cucumber that had grown so it's it's filling out uh this is the second one then i have some smaller ones that are growing as well so i'm really really stoked about that that's on one side of the trellis look there's one right there. These are pickling cucumbers, I think they are. So they grow long and skinny. Um, look, here's another one right here that's growing. There's one over here that's growing. But something else too that I noticed over here um, under the trellis is that my basil, um, I'm not sure. I've got a couple of diseased uh, leaves in here. This is, um, a tomato plant that died oh look another cucumber right there a tomato plant that died but i couldn't get it out of there because some of the cucumber vines are wrapped around around it there's a pollinator love to see those guys um my basil here is dying and i'm not really sure what's going on with it um as you can see i put down new hay down there mulch um, I also put in there some um, fertilizer, gave it some new fertilizer. So I'm not really sure what's happening with my basil. So I'll end up pulling this out of here because I don't want any diseased plants where it will cause more um, a pest and things to come. So I'm going to pull that out, except I'm not able to pull that out over here because, you know, the, the uh, cucumbers wrapped around that, that tomato plant. And I did notice too, yeah, this is another tomato plant that looks like it's dying. I'm not sure what's going on. So there's something else I've got to try to find out, hey, what's happening? I noticed too here that none of my tomato plants um, have flowers on them. None of them have flowers where they are, where they are blooming. I, I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, I would... I venture to say, oh, I need to take off the, 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 um, the cover here. Oh, I need to take this cover off, but the temperatures are still in the 100 degrees. As a matter of fact, um, the temperatures for this week were in the hundreds, 101 or 10 something, and the feels like was 115 or one, um, 115, 113. So, I'm not ready to take the cover off because I do believe that if I take that cover off, they're not going to be struggling. They are going to die. So same thing here. Um, this is over where the okra is growing. And since I've lifted this uh, shade cloth up, it has been growing pretty well. And I'm very, very happy with it. Even the the late planted okra and i still have okra right here that i haven't planted yet but the late planted okra is even doing well had a couple of buds on there the other day so just wanted to give you guys a quick update as to what's going on in the garden i'm getting ready to do some harvesting as you can see some okra um right there on that one some right there on that one i'm getting ready to harvest now the the tomato plants over here in this little raised bed i saw a few i saw a few flowers the other day actually i don't see any now yep yep there we go a few flowers on here but i didn't see them on the other one so i'm not really sure why that is but we'll pray that these go ahead and make and that those get caught up over there anyways uh, just uh, wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's happening in the garden. Getting ready to do, yeah, quite a bit of harvesting this morning. Wow, thank you, Lord. <laughs>